Okay, here is another circuit. We have to find Vx. Now, if you look carefully, this dependent source and 4 ohm resistance, they are in parallel. So, we can uh, solve them into a voltage source. The value of the voltage source is 4 multiplied by 0 0.25 Vx, that gives 1 Vx or just Vx and this resistance comes in series. So, this is the replacement of the current source and the resistance in parallel. Now, these two are in series, current flowing from positive terminal going up, current flowing from positive terminal going in the same direction. So, we can just add them. So, this is our new circuit. By adding them, we get a source 18 plus Vx, others remaining same. Again, now we will convert them into the parallel branches or we can use nodal method, whichever you want. So, by nodal method, it is current entry, current entry and current leaving. So, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 and I1 is 0 minus Vx and this is in the same direction for plus 6 divided by 2, I2 0 minus Vx, 0 minus Vx, this is also the same direction for plus 18 Vx, plus 18 Vx divided by 4, 4 and outgoing I3 is Vx over 2, so Vx over 2 and multiplying by the LCM 4 and then simplifying we get Vx is equal to 7.5 volt. So, this is since there is a Vx involved, I have done it by the nodal method. Maybe if you convert it to current, it might become slightly difficult. Another example, now if you look at the circuit, since this is the branch through which we need to find uh, the current, so we will not touch this branch, therefore we will not convert this into uh, as, as a voltage source, although in the book this has been done like this, but I, I prefer to convert this circuit into a parallel circuit. So, I have converted into a parallel circuit voltage 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.4 Ix current direction since positive sign is here. So, the current direction going down and 5 ohm resistance comes in parallel. Again now we will we'll see the effect uh, of these two current sources uh, through this resistance, one is coming from up and the other is going from down, so they are in opposition. So, the net current will be the subtraction of the two. So, this is the net current 4 minus 0 0.4 Ix. Now, note that this is simple 4 and this is 0.4 Ix, so we can't subtract and make it 3.6 Ix, we just leave it as it is. And now, we can use the CDR rule to find current Ix. So, by CDR, Ix is the total current 4 minus 0 0.4 Ix divided by total resistance multiplied by the opposite arm and by simplifying uh, we get Ix to be 1.17 ampere.